Hello there. I am Jessica Burgess with the lifestyle blog, fantabulosity.com and the creative business mentor.com where I help people start their blogs, grow their blogs and help them with their online business. Today, I'm going to show you a new software I've been using for my own lifestyle blog that I've seen amazing, amazing results with. I really think you should think about getting your hands on this, whether you are a brand new blogger or someone who's been blogging for a while. And I know there are a lot of softwares, a lot of programs, and there's a lot of people out there saying, oh, you need this and you have to have that. I'm not saying you have to have this to be successful. What I am saying is that it is a whole different outlook on how it helps me have a whole different outlook on how I write my post. So I actually use it as a supplemental keyword research for search engine optimization, uh, SEO, you may have heard it called for my lifestyle blog. And so could I live without it? Yeah, I could. Have I found that I'm ranking faster for certain keywords using it? Yes. Have I also found that it helps me think outside of the box and use words and uh, keywords and phrases that I may not have thought to use without it? Yes. So what I'm going to do is kind of give you a really quick overview of how I use it and show you some results that I've had with it because I think it's something that's going to be really handy for some of you. And right now, I believe it's only $50 a month. And I think the plan uh, is to increase it to $100 a month, if I remember correctly. So I wanted to let you know as soon as possible, because if you find that you want to use it, I would love to see you get in at the $50 a month price, right? Okay. So what I, what Rank IQ is, that's what I'm talking about today, is Rank IQ it's owned by and created. The founder is Brandon Gale. I've been following him for quite some time, honestly, and I've just really loved his stuff. So when he put this out, it was a no-brainer for me. I had to test it out. And so I've been using it for about four months. And I'm just going to walk you through how I use it for some of my posts so you can see actually how the the platform works in itself. And if you go, if you click on the link, I do have an affiliate link that I would love for you to use if you decide to check it out. You don't have to. You can find it easily by just typing in Rank IQ, I'm sure. But the link that I give you, um, it should take you to this homepage right here and which has a video on it that shows you how Rank IQ works. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. However, I'm going to talk in Jessica terms <laughs> and hopefully explain it maybe in a different way that this video would, because I know sometimes we all learn differently through different teachers and things, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in because I'm already a member. And okay, so I am already logged in, which is fantastic. Now, this is my homepage here. But right here on this side page, there's home, keyword library, my keyword library, upgrade, change credit card, cancel account. All right. So as you can see, it's really easy to cancel. I love that. I love Brandon for so many reasons. He's just very authentic and he's not someone that's just putting something out there to try to make a buck. Like you can really tell that he's trying to help all of us out. Okay. So you have that there. What this is, I'm just going to kind of give you a brief overview run new report. This is for a keyword that you want to focus on when you're writing a blog post. You type that in here, click run new report, and you'll see here in a, in a second what it actually does. But you do get 16 reports each month and it resets the first of the month. I've already used six, as you can tell, for this month. But down here below, you can see words that I've tackled or ran reports for in the past. And what I'm going to do is do the trying to find that there it is popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup all right so that is a a keyword that i targeted at one point and i'm going to click on optimize now what is really interesting about this is i had the recipe popcorn balls on my blog for a really long time it was never ranking, never doing much of anything, honestly. And then I came into Rank IQ because not only can you use Rank IQ for uh, help with new blog posts, you can use it for help to update old blog posts. So what I did is I went to Rank IQ and figured out, okay, how can I update popcorn ball recipe 
in a way that may help me rank more. I know popcorn ball recipe itself, that keyword phrase may be kind of difficult to rank for. So is there any other thing that I could possibly use in a keyword or key phrase that may help me rank better? Well, it was popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup. And how I came to that, I'll show you just in a, just a minute, but I'm kind of working backwards here so you can kind of follow along maybe a little easier. But what I did is I took that old blog post that I had written and I copied it and I pasted it into this section right here. And immediately what it does is it tells me, okay, well, your grade is a D minus. And what you need to rank for this is needs to be at least a B plus. Okay. So as you're adding things to this area right here, your grade should be going up. And what it's saying on this one in particular, it's saying, Jessica, you need to get score a B plus if you want to rank it all. But can you go higher? Absolutely. So if I were redoing this right now, I'd honestly, of course, aim for a B plus, but hey, if I could go for an A plus plus, which is also a ranking option, I'm going to do it because I want to try to rank well. And then over here, there's the word count recommended. So as you can see in the one I pasted, it's 770 word count. And then what's recommended is 1,262. Now, I don't want to put words in Brandon's mouth. However, I, he and a lot of other SEO experts out there tell us all the time, do not, you know, just put a bunch of fluff in your post to try to get more words, right? We want to add value. So what that's saying is if you can have helpful, valuable information in your blog post with at least 1,200 words, you're going to have a better chance of ranking. Doesn't mean you have to have that many words. And if you're done and you're, you're, you have the grade that's recommended and say you're this far off, don't just type a story about how your kid loves popcorn balls. You know, it's, it needs to have some value to it. So I, it, everybody's going to be different, but as you get to using this, I, really wouldn't focus on the word count so much. I would focus on good quality words. Okay. So let me explain what I mean. I'll move my face. So as you, you can either, if it's a brand new post and you start typing in here, or maybe you post, copy and paste a post in here. What it does over here is it's recommending the words that you can use in your blog post to help you get a better score. Okay, so at, what I would do for this one is I'd say, okay, easy marshmallow popcorn balls recipe. Well, I'm trying to tackle popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup. So I may type this in here without corn syrup. Okay, popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup. Okay, so Oops. And what I'm going to do is come over here next. And apparently from the top down of this list, there these words, these keywords are ranked from importance. Okay. So this software is saying, man, if I can use medium heat somewhere in this blog post, that's a good keyword to use. So I automatically go, okay, well, maybe it's cooking over medium heat. So I'll scroll down. And, and don't hold me to it. I'm just kind of rushing through this because I know your time is valuable. So I'm not actually putting a lot of thought into this. But say I come down here to the direction section and it says, next up, melt the butter and marshmallows in a large stock pot over medium heat. If that truly is the way you're cooking it. I'm not saying you need to use this word if it doesn't fit your blog post. Sometimes some of these words just don't fit. Like candy thermometer, we don't use a candy thermometer for these popcorn balls. So I don't really need to put that word in it. And then it would just not make sense. And Google may look at that and go, this person's crazy. We don't need to rank her because she's throwing words in that don't make sense. But as you can see, since I use the word medium heat, it has a green check mark by it. Okay. And so something else I'm going to do show you what I tend to find very helpful is I toggle that. So the words that I've already used, it takes them away. So now I'm only looking at the words that I could still use that are not in my post. So for lack of time, I should say, I, I'm going to just keyword stuff here just a second to kind of show you what it does. Now pretend I'm using these keywords in actual sentences in places where they fit, right? Oh. Paper, stove top. As you can see, I'm using the words over here and as I'm typing them, they're disappearing. Caramel corn, you see it right here? Caramel corn, disappearing. And also as I'm adding them, 
the score is going up. Syrup mixture, large pot, <laughs> uh, affiliate links, which I never add that in. You know, I found that that typically is pulling that from Google and from the top post that are ranking on Google. It's pulling words like affiliate links and things because a lot of us bloggers have those disclaimers in our blog posts. So it's pulling those types of things. And that's another quick thing. Again, I don't want to put words in Brandon's mouth. However, you may going maybe asking, Jessica, where are they finding these words? Like, where is this even coming from? Well, I believe that it's pulling those words. And I think that this is what I heard him say. It's pulling, it's analyzing the top posts that are ranking for this keyword phrase on Google already and analyzing the words that are used the most or that have the most weight, right? And so it's telling you, giving you this information. If you want to rank with the big dogs, you need to start using the words like the big dogs. So that's where that's coming from. High heat. I think my Apple watch is like messing up my computer mouse. Combined sugar. Okay. And then brown sugar. I'm going to just do a couple more. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, easy recipes. It's like my letters are typing backwards. And great idea. Okay. So as you can see, this grade is going up. So there's really no need to do any more. However, I would keep writing and finding words to make these naturally fit as many of these as I could until my grade got at least a B plus. Or if you're a perfectionist like me, I like to go big or go home and try to go for the A's. <laughs> okay. So now what I, what I do whenever I have updated this, I will just simply either copy paragraph by paragraph or the whole thing or however you want to do it and then paste it in my WordPress, okay? And then I update the post or I publish my post. Now, let's go, we're working backwards here. So I'm gonna go back to the home page and go to keyword library. Now here is why I love Rank IQ for helping me figure out new posts to write and what keywords to use for posts. So you can either select your niche that you blog about. So for me, it would be lifestyle, okay, or food, or, oh, he doesn't have lifestyle. So what, since I have a lifestyle blog, sometimes I'll come in and break it down and do, okay, well, food, or if I'm a party planner or whatever it is, and he's always adding new categories, new niches on here, which is really cool. So let's just play with food here a little bit. Let's go to leftovers. So you can click leftovers and let's not put a keyword in here just yet because I want to show you how cool this is. So it is pulling keyword phrases that have to do with leftovers and food only. This is what's so different from like SEMrush and stuff like this. It's only pulling the keywords that you should be able, or are you listening? If you're multitasking, come back. It's only pulling keywords that you should be able to rank for if you optimize it in what I just showed you, okay? So as if you've been blogging for some time, you may have heard of things like domain authority and, and, and Google ranking and things like that and how blogs can grow over time and sometimes easily rank easier than others. Especially if you're a brand new blog, it may take a little more work. However, this is so great for new bloggers because this can help give you a boost. You're not just throwing spaghetti at the wall. This is helping you figure out, oh my gosh, if I write a blog post on how to reheat a baked potato, I wouldn't have thought to write a blog post on that. I mean, I don't think so, but I'm looking at it and going, okay, well, come over here. 4,560 visits a year. Yeah, that's not a lot, but as a brand new blogger, uh, you better believe I would love to have 4,000 visits a year. Did I say a month or a year? I don't know. I don't remember what I just said. But this is, as you can see, visits in a year. As a brand new blogger, I would love to have 4,500 visits a year because that one combined with another post and another post and another post, it all adds up. But not only that, if you write a post on how to reheat a baked potato, you may also, and you optimize it well, you may also start ranking for other similar keywords. Maybe something such as leftover baked potatoes, how to eat a leftover baked potato, 
what to do with a baked potato. Who knows? You may start ranking for other keywords that people are typing into Google. So you may not only get 4,500 visits a year. You may get more than that. So it's always good to keep that in mind. Now let's come on over here and say, okay, well, competition, the highest number I believe in competition that you'll see here on Rank IQ is 30. So if you are an experienced blogger, you've been blogging for a while, you should be fine writing a blog post that has a competition of 30, okay? And I believe what Brandon was saying is that these keywords that are in this library these are keywords that you should have a good chance of ranking for, but not only ranking for, ranking for it on the first page of Google. That's huge, huge, right? Okay, so when I say that, if you've been blogging for some time and you have something showing on the second page of Google, come in here and go, okay, um, beef burrito. I don't know, I just pulled that out of my, my rear. Okay, beef burrito. That's not a good one. Let's do pizza. Uh, this is perfect. Let's say you have a pizza recipe ranking on the second page of Google. And it pulls up these keyword phrases. And you're like, I really want to get that to the first page of Google. And then you look at this and go, how to reheat deep dish pizza. Oh my gosh, that's great. Leftover pizza, reheat pizza and toaster oven. What to do with leftover pizza. You may look at this and go, I don't really want to write a whole separate blog post on this because it doesn't really have a whole lot of visits every year. You could, and again, you could rank for other keyword phrases, but you could use these keywords in that blog post that you already have, because look at all of these that you could get on top of what you're already getting traffic from or showing on the second page of Google just to kind of give it a lift, right? So if you could start getting traffic for reheat pizza and toaster oven because you put a section, a block or something in your blog post that you already have about pizza and these 11,000 people each year come to your pizza recipe because they were searching for this, how cool is that, right? So I'm hoping that makes sense, but it's such a a fascinating tool that just kind of narrows things down, narrows your thinking and your research and your SEO and keyword planning. It narrows it down even more and kind of makes you go, wow, I could really beef up a post I already have, or it can help give you brand new blog post ideas. Okay, so the lower the competition, the easier it is to rank for. This again tells you how many visits per year estimated that you could get. And the time to rank, it goes all the way up to ultra fast. So if it says ultra fast, that means it's going to be ultra fast for you to rank on the first page of Google if you optimize it according to the optimizer in this Rank IQ. So you can see there's a very fast one and then it goes down to fast. Let's play with another one. Um, let's get out of food. Let's go to arts and crafts, Etsy. I'm just pulling this out of my, my brain here. I'm not really doing anything planned. Best-selling crafts on Etsy. How cool would it be if you're in the craft and DIY niche to do a blog post on best-selling crafts on Etsy? Competition is 22, so that means that it's not 30. It's not necessarily super hard. It's not the lowest either, but 14,000 visits a year. Again, not a lot, but as a brand new blogger, whoa, because you get a bunch of those and it adds up. And then before you know it, you could be ranking or getting enough page views to qualify for somebody like Mediavine. And then you can see over here, there's average. And then, so there's some very fast, fast. Okay. And there's just so many ideas. So I, again, don't want to reinvent the wheel. What you can do though, I'll give one little more tip. Say you think, okay, I want to write a blog post on best selling crafts on Etsy for sure. You put a check mark in it and then you go to add selected to your keyword list. All right. And so what it does is it puts it in your own keyword list. So you click this black button and it takes you to all the ones that you have selected that you want to tackle. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to click that because I don't want anybody to see my word bank. <laughs> not that, you know, you couldn't do it anyway but it's just kind of like my little private space, right? So I don't want to click on that. But what it does is it stores them all in there. So maybe later you can come back to it and go, 
okay, I'm ready to write a blog post. What do I want to write it on? Oh yeah, I'll go to my keyword list and rank IQ and look through that and see what I could possibly tackle. Okay. So then yeah, keyword library, upgrade, change, credit card. So super easy, user friendly. And it's, it really takes compared to the other search engine tools like Key Search and SimRush and things like that, which I still use 100%. I still use and love those for different reasons. This is a supplemental thing I love to use along with it to help me either finalize some things or help me optimize what keyword I'm already tackling that I found in SimRush or Key Search. So do I think you have to have this? No. Do I think you should have this if you can? Yes, because let me show you. I did optimize the popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup. And I don't remember the grade I got on it, honestly. <laughs> there I am, number one. Now you can see only 320 people search that a month. Popcorn ball recipe without corn syrup. So it's not a lot. I'm not getting rich, becoming a millionaire off of it. But watch this. Popcorn ball recipe. Now remember, this was a blog post that I wasn't ranking for at all. Click on here. And I think I just did this. I don't remember when I did this. Maybe a month ago. I don't really remember when. So it's pretty far down right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, let me go to an incognito window. Let's just do popcorn ball and see what happens. Again, this is not planned. <laughs> I am just winging it. So if you type in popcorn, oh, look at that. If you type in popcorn ball, I am one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I'm in the 19th position. Am I going to get a lot of traffic for Popcorn Bowl? No, probably not. But I am here to tell you that I've seen it with my own eyes that when I start ranking for a keyword phrase pretty well, like in the first position for Popcorn Ball Recipe Without Corn Syrup, Google will start taking my post and moving it higher up for keyword, shorter keyword phrases like popcorn ball, okay, or popcorn ball recipe. So it's good to tackle and target those long tail keywords because if you start doing well there, they kind of start filtering you in to the tougher ones, the, the, the more competitive keywords. So again, do I think using Rank IQ will make you a millionaire? I don't know. Has it me? No. Have I been using it long enough to be able to tell you it will? No. But have I seen results from it that I wouldn't have seen without using it? 100%. Because I'm not sitting down on my computer going, I got to update an old post. How am I going to use? Like, what keywords am I going to use? And even if I know what keywords I'm going to use, when I sit down to actually write it, sometimes my mind doesn't think of alternative words I could use that could be really helpful in the search engines. For instance, if I'm writing a recipe and I put, grab your pan and put the cookies on it. If I would simply do, say Rank IQ says, you need to use the word baking dish or cookie sheet for a cookie recipe instead of pan, <laughs> and I change that, that may be a big deal, right? That little thing and this little thing and that little thing. I never would have thought to use those simple words that may make a big difference. So again, I think it's something that you really should consider. Uh, you know I don't recommend something that I truly don't love, and Rank IQ is something that I truly love. So again, I do have an affiliate link for it if you do want to use it. Again, you don't have to, but I would be so honored if you did and you decided to use it. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm happy to answer them if I know questions. And I think right now at the time of this recording, which is June 2021, there is some kind of deal that if you get it now, you get it at the $50 a month instead of what it may be going to, $100 a month, but you also get access to his private VIP group on Facebook where he hangs out and he has personally answered my questions that I have about Rank IQ and quickly. It's like, how do he, he can't be human because it's like, how do you run this business of yours and personally answer to all these questions in this group? He's fantastic. So 
if you're thinking about getting something, I would get it now while you can get into the group and while you can get it for $50. So I will put my affiliate link in the description of this video or in the email wherever you're watching this. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. My email is jessica at fantabulosity.com or you can also find me at thecreativebusinessmentor.com and I'll be happy to help. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.